Okay, this is a branch of the mulberry tree that I cut off. I also have a thicker one here that I'm also going to try to to root. My last one, it almost rooted and for some reason it just died. So this is round two of the mulberry cutting. I just took a big old piece and I'm going to go ahead and do each of these branches, this year's branches, and then I'm going to cut this main stem and do that too, a little long as the thicker one also. That's also going to go in dirt to see which ones are going to root, see if the older branches are root better than the young ones. So here we go, let's cut these branches. Of course, I'm not going to do every single branch, but just to show you an idea again, these are the new buds that would come out. So I'm going to go ahead and count four, one, two, three, four, and on that fifth one, I'm going to go ahead and give it an angle cut, because that's the one I'm going to go ahead and put in cut here so that I know that's not an angle cut. Oh, uh, a little more closer to here. One, two, three, four. So we'll do it. I'm going to just do it there since it's already down. Do it there. Cut that off. Again. One, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and cut it here and then go right on the bud section. And this would be waste. But uh, these are the ones that I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the dirt. Some of them are going to have root, uh, rooting hormone. Some of them are, are not. So that I can see which ones work better with what. And this is pretty much the length that I cut them in. So I usually count four buds. And then that's it. I got plenty more here. So I'm going to be doing these too. But... Those are off camera. These are the ones we're going to do to show you. Anyways, do the big one without rooting hormone. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a angle cut. More exposure, the better chance, they say. So that's going to go in. Right in there. This is another branch. I don't think I'm going to have room for this one. But I am also going to put some in water to see if the water makes a difference in uh, growing. So, go ahead and put them in there. I got some that are mulberry and some that are uh, lantana cuttings. I know the difference. If you can't tell the difference, I suggest you put them in different cups. So, I'll put a couple of those in there. Those New Year branches. This is an older. This I'll put rooting compound. I'll put rooting compound those three. This one I'll just put straight in like that. Actually, I'll keep the rooting compound ones to the back. So, go ahead and wet that. <laughs> that in there. What I'm doing is I'm wetting the tip so that the rooting compound will stick better too. Before I put them in. That's pretty much it. Now we wait as long as it takes to see if they root it. If the branches start going brown, like if they're dying, then I will pull them out. If I don't see, or these bigger ones, I will cut a tiny little bit to see if they're still green in them. If not, then that means that the branches are dying. That means it's not going to work. But we'll keep on at it until we get it. So everybody have a great day. Thank you for watching. Until next time.